How's it going, Android fans? It's me, the Cool Loser, and today's video is going to be in the best apps of the week using my Galaxy S4. So let's do it to it. And for the best live wallpaper of the week, it is called Android KitKat Live Wallpaper. I see KitKat in the background, which is a new operating system that's going to be revealed pretty soon. And if we take a look as you swipe around the screen, you will see that it rotates as little Android KitKat. You can change the background to any color. As you see, the glow looks really nice, and it's very smooth. All right, let's move on to the best apps of the week now, shall we? And I'll start off with My Data Manager. This is going to be one of those must-have applications for the people who want to track their data. As it says, 99% of this month's usage has been on Wi-Fi, and today's usage is this much. So let's say you don't have unlimited everything and you want to be able to track it. I know you can do it through the Android operating system, but for the people who want something a little bit more direct and app standalone, then this is going to be the one for it. Now, if you swipe to the right side, you will see that it actually reloads every time you get to it. You see YouTube, just for today, has been 131 megabytes of data. But that's just using my Wi-Fi. If you want to see through the month, just click on the month and then I'll reanalyze and it shows right here. So far since October 1st till this day, it shows how much I've used. And then you'll see which apps these are and you can see how little they take. So this application just, you know, watches every day that you run through. So it's, it's a great application. I haven't seen it drain my battery either. It's a daily graph of how much I consume during a certain hours. And you will see your data pie sheet. YouTube is the biggest consumption. And we go to the next and we see other. And we go to the Google Play Store. We see Instagram. So those are the four different ones as you see. Maybe you're like, okay, this application is taking too much data. I'm going to uninstall it now because I don't want it to drain it. And now you'll know. This application is great. You'll love it. Try it out for yourself. Here next we have Easy Backup. Now I'm not sure if this application is for rooted people only. Like for an example, I want to do eBay. If we click on eBay, we see we can launch the information, Google Play, or uninstall from right here. But if I actually check on it, you will see that it's one out of 48 applications and I can back up this application and you'll see eBay is backing up and you'll see its progress right there. Backup complete. And we can go to the user data, which means I can back up more than just applications. Back up my contacts, my SMS, multimedia messages, call logs, bookmark, personal dictionary, ringtones, wallpaper, and you'll see what else you can do there through backup. Now here's your restore section where these are the ones that you can restore because I did backups. It comes with all your data as well. Now here you got your cloud area. So you can sign in through your cloud store Google Drive, but this is a paid feature, so I cannot save them onto there unless I get the pro. Then we got the timer here, which you can schedule backups. You can go searching for what applications. You can go into what type of sorting you would want. And then here's to refresh. Go into your menu, you see app freezer. So if you want to freeze applications. So those of you guys who are using titanium backup, this is one of those types. So you're going to be familiar with what you can do. Hopefully it works for non-rooted devices. Always test it out for yourself. So go do it. Next up, we have mini tasker. This application is for the people who love to create tasks within different actions. I've reviewed a couple of these that work alike, but maybe you'll like this one better. If you press the play, you can see create a new action. When I get to, let's say, to my work, to my house, to my mom's house, wherever it knows where you're gone from your house and it figures out what location you're going to be at, it's going to automatically launch that application or game or music. So whatever the fact is, turn toggles on and off if you want these to turn on and off at certain different times. Calendar events, activity detection, you can see the charge connected. Whenever you plug things in, whenever you disconnect, everything's going to be here manually inputted, which will automatically at the end do its own work. So that's how great it is. Launch an app, start navigating, you see phone volume whenever you do stuff like that. So I didn't get to show you a live preview, but you're really going to have to test it out for yourself. So go do it, do it. Here next we have speed test. This application is very old, but it's brand new, back updated, and works better than what it used to before. And I like to do this as in begin test speed. And this is gonna be a live. I haven't restarted the phone, I haven't closed any program, so whatever's gonna, you know, work. You can determine how fast your Wi-Fi is if you're really getting your true speeds that your provider is giving you. So I'm obviously getting 15.8. So what I'm gonna do now is turn off my Wi-Fi and I'm on 4G. Now I'm not gonna get that speeds here. Let's see where it goes. And that's this location in the corner of my room. There's different spots of the house that I'll go up higher. And if I go outside to different, my parents' house, like it all fluctuates and those are my results. But let's go into my actual results here. See the Wi-Fi signal and then 4G signal. 
There's my 4G920, certain different parts of the house. And then check this out. At a different location in Hillsborough still, in my little area, I got 28 megabytes download and 13 upload. That was faster than my internet speed at home. T-Mobile 4G is good. I know a lot of other networks have different better speeds at different areas, but this is my area, which is super good. Test your network speeds with other carriers to see who is faster. All right, next app. Next up, we have ROM Installer. This application right here is for the people who have root installing different roms change the operating system to make it work better to look better it doesn't have too much about it but it looks way better than rom manager the rom manager is an old one that we've all been using that i've been using and i still use but rom installer is a runner up to it but you can see extras and developers that you can actually look through certain communities as well and you can go to the settings you can see download path download zip recoveries and check for rom updates and click on this area you can see you can reboot fast boot reboot recovery reboot bootloader power off restart system ui so you get more options here than exactly where everything's put through raw manager it's just an application for you to test out to see if it's actually going to be replacing raw manager or whatever other app you use to install roms give this one a try and see if you like it so go do it to it here next we have show you this is for the people who love to watch new videos, new content, new everything. As you see, popular, following, watch later. And here are the channels that I followed right now that I like. There's categories. You can see featured, comedy, news, music. There's more stuff here. Let's go into the comedy section. And you will see the animation looks pretty cool with it. And Dick figures the movie. Like, say, what is this? It's just another way of, like, discovering, you know, YouTube videos. So anyways, you can keep watching. You could actually love Hilarious Wow, or write a comment on it. You can favorite this, you can reshare, you can add to your different to your playlist. If you scroll to the right, you see activity. We'll go to your profile and change different connections and sharing options and people can actually follow you on here and see what you find and share. News, comedy, fashion, whatever it is, go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Real Player Cloud. With this app, no matter what video file you have, will play through Real Player. Now, Real Player is supposed to be able to stream whatever content you have saved under your account, which gives you two gigabytes, and then you can upgrade for more. And you can see you can get started, get free space, and view all your videos. If you go into view all your videos, it'll jump right into the, all your videos that you have stored on your phone. You just have to watch the videos. And you can see upload and download section. If you go into all videos, Real Player Cloud, camera roll, downloads. You can see devices and PC connections. So you can connect to your computer or other devices with this application. So you can watch whatever you have video right now then upload onto the cloud service and then share it wherever you would like to watch it from you can see a sharing section your web and you can see how many gigabytes you are using and there's my profile and you can see you go into the settings privacy network videos quality and you can see resume playing so this is the last video i checked out and you see here's my guy playing with my xbox remote and he's always chewing on things so and i sneak up on him right here <laughs> it freaks out. Go read the description. It'll explain more than what I can. Go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Galaxy Note 3 for everyone. This application is supposed to look, function, or sound like a Note 3. Or let's say a Galaxy phone. Let's say you don't have it. This application holds all the content the Note 3 has pretty much. Alarm sounds, notification sounds, ringtones, the user interface sounds. And we can see we can click onto wallpapers. So whatever the Note 3 carried, the wallpapers on here. You click onto it. These are the wallpapers. And you can go to the wallpaper pickers. Uh, they'll go phone images. And you can go to the S Note little pages here to use through them. Have a Samsung device? Only Samsung devices can really use and function this. These applications are downloadable. So if I click right now on Adapt Sound, it'll actually download something. So these are APK files. And this is the morning app that I reviewed not too long ago. Pretty much it's just downloading everything onto your phone to make it look and feel like the Note 3. But I just wanted to bring it for the people who wanted to try it who might work more. Alrighty, these are nine applications right here. I'm just going to switch to my Nexus 7 for the last application. And last but not least, we have POF. Are you tired of not finding a new love of your life? Or maybe you just want a piece of that. 
<laughs> if you click on the locals, you can see mobile users. So these are like real life people. And I haven't found anyone who's like trying to reach me who sounds fake at all. You're trying to hook you guys up with some love or some tail. Click on the people who are online or if they're not online, you can check out her pictures right here. And if you like her, you can send her a message just by clicking this and just press hi. That's the best way to do it. Just do not make you sound weird like, hey, I like your hat. So fun to, you know, look at people and see what people are doing. And uh, if you get a, you know, hello, you can see this person right here. Ooh, what's, what's her phone? As you see, she has an Apple phone. She says, looking for my cowboy. And you can send her a message and read more information about her. And then let's just go back. These are just your locals. You can go into your matches if you did your, your little chemistry. You, what, what up, what up, what up, what up? I'm making a video. No. Oh. <laughs> So, my roommate just came in and showed me that he cracked his phone. <laughs> he has the galaxy curse. So anyways, um, your match is here. I don't remember where I was at. Uh, chemistry match. Something to try. It does work. It functions right. I haven't had any issues. Here's all the people who actually viewed you. Like, these are people who are watched me after I put photos. I didn't have any photos. And then once I did, I got people looking to my profile. Look at all these girls right here who actually sent me a little thing saying, I want to meet you. And these are local people. So I'll show you my profile here. This is the first picture I had and the second picture. That's only two I had and I was still having people get to me and I posted more <laughs> pictures right here. Oh God, I just, I'm, I'm, I look like a weirdo on here, but that's the mission that I like to be. I like to be myself. I don't have to pretend to be anyone else. I'm going to be myself in the beginning, not pretend to be someone else for them to like me. So anyways, conversations right here of the people who have chatted back and forth. Just something for you to definitely try. I hope you guys find what you want. So go do it, do it. Thank you for joining guys, these were the best apps of the week right off Google Play, brought to you by me, the cool loser, on my Nexus 7 and on the Galaxy S4. Until next time, tune in for the best games of the week on Thursdays, if not Thursdays, then it's Friday. And it's almost gonna be Halloween. Oh yeah, don't forget to spread the word of the cool loser. Okay, later. <laughs> and the worst part is, I didn't even drop it. <laughs> what did you do, bro? There's a little piece of slag at the bottom right What's here. What's slag? It's a piece of metal from uh, welding and it caught the really top bottom. And all I did is use my finger just like this and scraped it. Just by scraping it, crack. Wow, so it was a hot piece of metal? No, it was, it was dried, but the problem is it melted into the glass. Uh, so when I actually tried breaking it off, it cracked the glass because it melted on the glass. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Too bad. So yeah, he'll cry about it.